Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is yet another Thursday evening, approaching the midnight hour, and I'm so humble, glad, and blessed that I can come and share prayer, and I will start with scripture, and that will be Matthew chapter 5, verse 9. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Heavenly Father, we come to you saying thank you for this day. Thank you for your grace, your mercy, your favor, your love. Thank you for being faithful. We come to praise your holy name and give you all praise and honor. We thank you for your precious son, Jesus Christ, who sacrificed his life and died on the cross and who was buried and rose with all power. We thank you. We thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit and invite the Holy Spirit to be in this prayer to continue to guide our thought, our walk, and our talk. Oh, Heavenly Father, we ask that you partner some of our sin that we committed intentionally or unintentionally in thought and or in deed. We want to serve you in a way that please you, that glorify you, Heavenly Father. So please, Hold us close, Heavenly Father. Please help us. We want to be called your children. We want to do the things that are pleasing to you, Heavenly Father. Oh, I thank you for my prayer partners. Your word says, when two or more gather in your name, that you be in a mess. So I thank you for my prayer partners, Minister Valen, Morning Glory Group, Shape Group, Wonderful Women of God, The Grateful Prayer Line. Prayer Chronicles, My Home Church, Cadiz Baptist Church of Detroit, and the Allen family. And hopefully I did not forget anyone. But Heavenly Father, I lift up all the intercessors who stand in the gap, who intercede for others, Heavenly Father. And I thank you for every church that's open in your name, that's doing kingdom building, that's sharing your word, that's sharing your love, that's sharing the gospel, Heavenly Father. And in um, these perilous times, Heavenly Father, and we know that it's a lot going on, that it's different wars brewing. We know that um, there's so much destruction going on. We know that it's um, a crazy political time, Heavenly Father. But one thing for sure that we can call on you, your word says that you will draw near to us, Heavenly Father. So again, we thank you that we have access to you, that we can come to you, that we can pray to you. Oh, we pray for all those um, law enforcement, first responders, medical personnel, those in the travel industry. We pray for our youth, a covering over our youth, Heavenly Father, especially those who are going to school, Heavenly Father, and, and we pray for their safety as they go to and from school and their safety while they're yet still in school, Heavenly Father. Oh, we don't take anything for granted. We Pray um, for all of us um, traveling mercies for those who are traveling, Heavenly Father. And we are nothing without you. We absolutely need you. So again, we thank you that we can come out to you, that we can cry out to you to be a healer, to hold us, to help us, to heal us, um, to, to bind to bind the enemy, Heavenly Father. Your word says what we bind on earth, you'll bind in heaven. And what we loose on earth, you'll loose in heaven. Again, we thank you that we can stand on your word. I thank you for my family. I thank you for my friends. I thank you for the new thing that you are doing in my life, Heavenly Father. I thank you for this occasion that you allow me to come and pray and share on various platforms heavenly father for someone who's hearing this right now it's not too late god will forgive you just call out to him while you still have breath in your body do not take it for granted these days, these opportunities do not delay it. Oh, I thank you for my home church, Caius Baptist Church of Detroit, Senior Pastor Greg Foster II, who is preaching a dynamic word and our church is doing kingdom building. So if you need a church home, I um, recommend you to come and try our church in person and or online that we cannot afford not to be covered. You know, a lot of people say that, you know, this church thing, but I tell you the truth without God, without my brothers and sisters, um, I don't know where I'd be. And I thank you. Thank you. Thank you, God. 
for doing all that you've done for me and the things that you're doing for me. And for someone out there, God has no respect the person. What he's doing, um, healing in the midnight hour, breaking addictions in the midnight hour, it, it's nothing impossible for God. So know whatever you've done, you know, cry out to God. He'll forgive you. He will draw near to you. So for the bereaved heart, the broken heart, you don't have to be by yourself. God will be a company keeper. He will be a comforter. He will be a friend. And not only that, he will send somebody. He will send an angel. He will send somebody your way. So you do not have to do it alone. If you stand in need of prayer, um, send me a message. Um, me and my prayer partners, we will touch and agree with you. God has answered so many prayers. We know we can depend on him. And I'm going to leave you with this. We always um, talking about trusting God. We can trust God, but can God trust us? Let's do our part in that part and sharing the gospel to being kind to one another to one another and to lift up the name of the Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that name that has all power while we still yet have breath in our body. So um, I'm so grateful being from the Motor City, Metropolitan Detroit, so grateful that um, we are celebrating victories um, in the sports world. But I know another victory that is far more worthy of all praise, and that is having a relationship with God. So let's think about doing that. Let's come together on one accord and show God's love, show God's kindness to people. And again, if you need a prayer partner, reach out. We love you. If I forgot anything, charge it to my head and not my heart. Again, he left us in peace. And I too will say peace in the master's name of Jesus. Amen.